The early signing period is in the books, and while the majority of prospects have signed with their schools, there are still some big fish out there. Here's the top five uncommitted players, all five stars, who are still up for grabs as we race to National Signing Day on February 8th. You'll find two of these guys in the defensive backfield at American Heritage High School in Plantation, Florida, and we'll start with Patrick Sertain Jr., the only top 10 player who isn't committed. The 6'2", 200-pound corner has been LSU lean for years, and he still is. Things are looking good for the Tigers, but the national champion Crimson Tide and the hometown Miami Hurricanes are not giving up on this guy. The Canes are also not giving up on Sertain's teammate, fellow corner Tyson Campbell, but Alabama and Georgia are both gaining steam here. Kirby Smart is looking to add a seventh five-star to his number one signing class. The dogs look good here, but the national champs will also host Campbell in Tuscaloosa this weekend. Nicholas petit Friere is the top offensive lineman still available, and he's got three official visits happening in the three weekends before signing day. The left tackle out of Tampa Bay plans to visit Alabama on January 19th, Florida the 26th, and Ohio State on February 2nd. He's already visited Michigan and Notre Dame. The Gators look good here, but there's plenty of time left. And two California prospects round out the top five. Receiver Devin Williams is leaning toward Oregon and new head coach Mario Cristobal, but he's also going to be visiting USC and UCLA is now getting in the mix. New head coach Chip Kelly could be hard to resist for this five-star receiver, but keep an eye on where he visits down the stretch. Quarterback Isaac Taylor Stewart has already visited Texas A&M and the San Diego prospect plans to do a bunch of travel in the next few weeks with visits to Georgia, USC, and Alabama on tap. Tennessee and new head coach Jeremy Pruitt are also getting involved with ITS. Pruitt is one of the nation's top recruiters, so this one could get interesting. That's your top five still on the board. Be sure to stick with us here at SI's Recruiting Corner as we head toward National Signing Day. I'm Amy Campbell.